Sally, good evening. I'm going to get straight uh, to it. With me, I have Peter Grunewald from the Freedom Front Plus. Mr. Grunewald was looking for a lot of detail from the president. He told me uh, earlier this week, um, Mr. Grunewald, I don't think from what I've heard that you're going to be satisfied that you got that detail you were looking for. No, not at all. In fact, it is quite clear that the president is actually living in a dream world. He is still dreaming about smart cities, but he lost contact and feeling with local and people on ground level and ordinary citizens in South Africa where people are unemployed. He referred to the reconstruction and rebuilding of the economy. He didn't say really anything new. Uh, he, for instance, referred to local production. In 2019, he already had the suit locally produced. So he stole all the same stories. I wonder how many times he has used the word must be done. Yes, we agree. Many things must be done, but we don't see the results. Are you satisfied with what he had to say about corruption, uh, members of a, a body to be appointed soon to establish uh, some type of strategy for the implementation of an anti-corruption uh, body? I think it's a bit late. It's a step in the right direction. Uh, but why waiting only now? that he is taking these sort of steps. He should have done it long before. I mean, it's not the first time we are looking at this whole issue of looting and the stealing of taxpayers' money. Um, Mr. Grunewald, uh, anything positive you take away from the President's speech this evening? Well, firstly, he gave the indication that we are going to have a local government election. He said that we are preparing for that. That is positive. From the economic point of view, uh, a positive thing is that he said that the alternative energy uh, regulators' uh, 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 legislation will come into effect. That should have been done long ago. We are experiencing load shedding from ESCOM again. In the end, I want to say that he referred to the fine boss and the fire. The fire who destroyed South Africa is the ANC government that allowed the looting and the stealing of the taxpayers' money in South Africa. Thank you very much, Dr. Kroonewald. Sally, Dr. Kroonewald there from the Freedom Front Plus. Uh, not satisfied that the president has gone far enough this evening. Back to you. Thanks very much, Lindsay. And we will cross back to you as you get other members of the opposition parties to respond to President Cyril Ramaphosa's State of the Nation address. I just